hello to you watching happy March um this is the finale of my Beauty and the Beast one month one palette and the introduction of the palette I'm gonna be using for the month of March so I will insert a picture of what the Beauty and the Beast palette looked like at the beginning of the month here As I said in my intro video for this one, um, I had used it a little bit, but not a whole lot soon after first getting it. So this month I have dedicated to using it uh, nearly every day. I think there were only like four or five days I didn't use it. And so this is what it looks like after. Okay, so as you can see, pan in the shade I used to set my, set my eyeshadow primer with. No shock there. That's exactly what happened in the Boss Lady Beauty Agenda and in the Smashbox uh, Master Class Lighting Fairy Palette. But you can also see dips in some other shades. So there's a dip there, dip there, dip there. Um, you can, in Beast Mode there, so yes, I have used all of the shades at least once. Um, I think ones like Inner Beauty, yeah, Inner Beauty, I um, only used a couple times. So the shimmer shades are lighter packed. Um, so like uh, Beast Mode, Timekeeper, um, My Castle, those were all like typical uh, Lorac you know, loose, more loosely packed shades. Um, and the uh, mattes like, you know, Impress, Our Guest, Look Beyond, Inner Beauty, TikTok, are all harder pressed, which I mean is a good thing because, you know, uh, you use those in your like crease and stuff like that. Um, I really enjoyed Impress and Our Guest, these two up here, uh, in my crease. And then just adding an eyeliner, that was my go-to, like, easy look. Um, I really liked Timekeeper. That's actually what I have on my lids today. Um, and uh, uh, on top of Beast Mode. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I like this palette, of course. It was a good palette. Um, very neutral, um, which will be fun when you see uh, which palette I'm using for the month of March. Um, I think one thing um, I learned from using this palette all month, I'm gonna keep holding it up just so you can keep looking at it. Um, one thing I learned this month that I didn't know before, um, Lorac eyeshadows, or at least this palette, um, I couldn't use to set my eyeliner. Um, I For the first couple of days I was trying to use Swept Up uh, to set any black eyeliner I might wear um, on like my waterline and stuff like that. And it actually irritated my eyes. And it's, it's not like age or you know anything like that. I mean this palette isn't even a year old yet. Um, but it's... I think that's something that I need to keep in mind when I move on to another one of my Lorac palettes and I will see if that gives me the same kind of irritation. Um, but it was only when I was using it like in the inner corner or to set my waterline. Um, it was fine on my lids. I didn't feel any irritation when I was using it as just eyeshadow. It was just a matter of... Um, so I get, I think it was dream it or tea time. I was trying to put in my inner corner and it, it made my eyes water and it was uh, a little irritating. Um, and then swept up, I used, I tried to use on my waterline and it was irritating as well. I mean, it didn't cause any redness or anything like that. It's just like stung a little bit. Um, and I learned my lesson not to use it to set my eyeshadow primer or not eyeshadow primer <laughs> uh, not to use it to set my eyeliner on my waterline or as an inner quarter highlight which works out because I have a silver eyeliner that I've been using to highlight my 
inner corner anyway so um yeah so that was the Lorac uh, Beauty and the Beast palette and let's get into uh, well here's uh, before and after pictures to look at Um, and then last night I decided I just used a fairly neutral pal a neutral and subdued palette for the past month. I need something bright in my life. So for the month of March, I will be using the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. Now this one has 21 shades of all colors. Colors. Look at all those colors. It is indeed a full spectrum palette. Um, and if you notice, I don't have any cream shade. There's no cream shade in this palette, which means I won't have that easy gimme pan of setting my eyeshadow primer with a cream shadow. Instead, I will be using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. This is the full spectrum palette take a look at that yep so I have used it at least three times um, but no pan to be shown and no real dips there's uh, use in some of the colors but I mean you'll see on my Instagram the before picture and I'm really excited to start working on this um, Especially because we're getting to the end of winter and we need some bright colors in our lives. Um, be looking forward to looks, oops, looks I create with Urban Decay's Full Spectrum uh, palette. All right, thanks for watching my uh, one month one palette and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.